Well, hello, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. Jujitsu 2000 here today. I'm back. I hope you're doing fantastic out there. In this video today, we have another offering from XSTAR. This is model MX4. I'm very excited about this one. This is their mini mixer battery charger, and it does some really cool things. Let's take a closer look. So the cool things that this battery charger will do is it will charge nickel metal hydrides, 1.2 volts, so that would be your AA and AAA rechargeable batteries, your 1.5 volt lithium ions, also AA's or AAA's, your 3.2 volt lithium iron phosphate batteries, that is new, as well as your traditional 3.6 to 3.7 volt lithium ion batteries. This charger does a lot. On the side here you can see it says smart battery type recognition, low voltage battery recovery, intelligent charge, timely stop when fully charged, and multiple protection mechanisms. Very, very cool. I want to say thank you to XSTAR for sending this out for review. I played with it off camera and I absolutely love it. Now on the back here there are some specifications so feel free to pause your screen if you want to. And then right there is a couple QR codes if you want to pause and scan those feel free to do so. Without further ado let's go ahead and open it up and see what's included in the package. So here are the items that are included with this charger. The first thing that you see here is USB-A to USB-C. This is your charging cable. You do get a nice owner's manual so I'm just going to get right to the English. We're going to go through there so the pause button might be your friend right there just in case there's anybody out there that's interested in reading this information all the specifications and different battery types that you can charge on the top there that's the lithium ions and then the lithium ion double A's and triple A's then the LifePo 4 batteries as well as the 1.2 volt nickel metal hydride rechargeables and it gives you some charging instructions right there and then right here talks a little bit about battery placement what you'll see on the screen and things of that nature we're almost done there's not much in English here so right here some after sales service information some friendly reminders to keep aware of and folks that is it for the English let's take a closer look at the charger look at that it's built very well very nice there's that switch on the side which lets you change from lithium ion to lipo 4 so if you move it backwards like that it'll be for lithium iron phosphate and if you leave it forward you'll do the nickel metal hydrides the lithium ions so that is pretty cool right there is the USB-C input and this will input a 5 volt 2 amp so very cool now these outer ports here they will charge at one amp and the inner ports will charge at half amp now if you have all four batteries in there depending on what kind of battery you're charging so if you're charging lithium ion batteries or lithium iron phosphate batteries you can charge 10 440s 14 500s 16 340s 18 350s, 18 500s, 18 650s, 18 700s, 20 700s, 
or your non-protected 21700 cells. And again, those are all the batteries for lithium ion or lithium iron phosphate. Now you have the option when you're charging those batteries to use these outer ports and you'll get one amp times two bays or if you use all four you'll get half amp for each bay. It'll also charge your lithium ion double A's, triple A's and all four uh, ports will be half amp charging. The LifePo 4 batteries, again, it's the same as the lithium ion. You can get these outer ones at one amp charging or all four at half amp charging. And then the nickel metal hydrides would be your triple A's, your double A's, your A's, your SC's, and they will all charge at half of an amp. Okay, let's go ahead and plug this in. You can see I plugged it into the back, and we're going to start with a 10440 battery. So on the first bay we have a 10440 battery, that's a lithium ion battery. In bay number two we're going to put a double A nickel metal hydride battery. In bay number three we're going to put a lithium ion 18650 battery. See what that looks like. And then in bay number four we're going to put a 21700 cell. So as you can see, all four of the bays are charging. Now you're seeing that bay number two has that flashing red. That's because that's nickel metal hydride. And if we refer back to the English portion here, it'll tell you what each battery type will do when they're charging. So you'll see from green to flashing red, that's your nickel metal hydride right there. So each one has its own thing that it does. So my final thoughts on this X-Star MX4 battery charger, I think it's fantastic. I really do. It is small compared to some of the other chargers out there, but it still packs a punch. I love the form factor. It's much smaller than most four bay chargers that have the same type of ability. And this one actually takes it a step further by recharging lithium iron phosphate batteries as well. I think that's absolutely wonderful. If you are a camper and maybe you're limited on space and you want to hike this thing in or something and you need to charge your flashlights or something like that, this would be a good charger for it. It does not do the 26650s or anything like that. It is for your standard batteries like your like I said the 14500s, the 10440s, the 16340s or the RCR 123s, your 18650s, 21700s. Those batteries are standard batteries and this one will charge all of them uh, including your AA and AAA nickel metal hydrides. I think this is just a fantastic charger. Again, thank you so much for watching, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're interested in this charger, I'll put a link in the description box down below. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a beautiful day. We'll see you on the next one. Bye for now, everybody.